Good afternoon and welcome back to where just flipping toast outside. I'm not even outside, I'm already sweating. I just made made myself some lunch. Yeah. I imagine going over not even halfway there, I'll be dripping already. I haven't even left the house yet. I'm starting to drip. So yeah. So what's been going on? Yeah, let's see. Laundry got done. Yes. So I'm good there. Let's see, what else got done? Play my game two of the 1978 quarterfinals, and here's what followed. The trade beat Montreal, tie the series at one. Islanders beat Toronto, that are up two games to nothing. Keep an eye on that series. series. Trust me on that one. Boston over Chicago. Boston's up two nothing. Philadelphia over Buffalo. Two nothing. Philadelphia. I could stick that aside. And only one soccer game done so far. Want to know it? Penalty kicks. Yep, two days in a row there's at least one penalty kicks. Netherlands and Turkey's on right now. I'm about 25 minutes in, roughly. This morning, England and Switzerland tied at one going into penalty kicks. England wins at 5-3 to three on penalty kicks. So... England's in the semifinals. They will get the winner of the Netherlands versus Turkey. Hmm. How is that going to go? Nah, it would go to penalty kicks, wouldn't it? It probably would. I mean, don't bet against it. No Team of Canada announcements. Not this time. There's like three, as I mentioned you know, last night, three now, three more teams. And the men's basketball team is Wednesday, so there we go. Anyways, the 1948 Olympics, the 14th Olympiad. July 29th to August 14th in London, England. In Great Britain as it was. 59 nations and 4,104 athletes participated Known as the Austerity Games, the recovery from the war, and I think they were rationing food until they, yeah, well, yeah, I think they were rationing food if I remember right. Anyways, no new vi venues were built. Cost-saving measures, I think. Fanny Blankers Cohen of Netherlands wins four gold in athletics. Bob Matthias, the youngest male to win track and field gold at 17 years old. Veiko Hutanen of Finland wins three gold, one silver, one bronze in men's gymnastics. Ooh, that was a good games. It was later on at the 2010, 2006 Winter Olympics. Cindy Klassen wins like won five medals. Guyana, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Iran, Iraq, Jamaica, Korea, Lebanon, Pakistan, Puerto Rico, Singapore, Syria, Trinidad and Tobago, and Venezuela. Yeah, a lot of nations made their debut at the 48 Games. Germany and Japan were barred from the Olympics because they crashed to the war. Anyways... They will they won't come back. Munich will host the nineteen seventy two Summer Games. Japan will host the nineteen sixty four Summer Games and we'll be getting to those eventually. Anyways, the USA wins the most medals and the most gold and the most silver and the most bronze. Not, no. I'm not sure about most bronze, but most gold for sure. Thirty eight gold, twenty seven silver, nineteen bronze for eighty four total. Great Britain. Host Great Britain gets 3 gold, 14 silver, 6 bronze for 23 total. And Canada gets only 3 medals, a silver and 2 bronze. So yeah, that's how they did. Started well and then it's just like, slipping a little, they start getting more later. I think 44, 94 and 22 and 99. Anyways, it's... Good deeds for 1,200. 
Yesterday's double jeopardy answer was, your, jo yeah, your donations let this children's research hospital in Tennessee promise no family receives a bill from it. Question, what is St. Jude? I thought so. I wasn't sure, though. <laughs> and today we round out the good deeds category for 2000 with today's answer, double jeopardy answer. Adoptions and a targeted spaying and neutering program are ways that Paws Chicago is able to maintain this two-word policy. No idea. Tomorrow's final, final Jeopardy category is Constellations. So we're about to get a little starry, starstruck. Get it? Yeah. Ah, so quite a fair bit packed into this video. Now, I might, I might make one after I get home from work. That'll be about after ten o'clock. Well, after ten o'clock, it might be. I don't know. Well, I'll get to it when I get to it, if I get to it. So anyway, anyways, in the meantime and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.